In this video, I'll show you my 10 best things to do in Virginia Beach. At number one, we have Virginia Beach Boardwalk. Virginia Beach's boardwalk is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the state of Virginia. The boardwalk is located on the shores of the Chesapeake Bay in the city of Virginia Beach. It was originally built in 1888 as a way to keep sand from blowing onto the streets of the city. Virginia Beach Boardwalk is built overlooking the beautiful Atlantic Ocean, and the scenic views from many of the area hotels and restaurant patios are breathtaking. It is used as a promenade for people to enjoy the view of the bay, and in the early 1900s, the boardwalk was extended to its current length of three miles. Virginia Beach Boardwalk underwent a major renovation in 1988, which included the addition of concrete, asphalt, and wooden planks. It is a very popular spot for walking, jogging, biking, and rollerblading. There are also several restaurants and cafes along the boardwalk. Virginia Beach's boardwalk is open year-round and is free to the public. At number two, we have Sandbridge Beach. Sandbridge Beach is a beautiful beach, well known for its wide range of activities including swimming, sunbathing, fishing, and surfing. If you're looking for a quieter beach option with fewer tourists, head 15 miles south of the city area to Sandbridge Beach. The sand here is very clean and soft, making it a popular spot for families with young children. The beach gets its name from the sand dunes that are found in the area. These sand dunes were formed over thousands of years by wind and ocean currents. The dunes are now home to many different types of plants and animals. The beach is also home to a variety of different bird species. Some of the most common birds that can be seen at the beach include seagulls, pelicans, and ospreys. Sandbridge Beach is free to visit 24 hours a day, but Little Island Park Pier is only open between sunrise and sunset daily. At number three, we have Military Aviation Museum. The Military Aviation Museum is an aviation museum that is home to one of the largest flying collections of World War I and World War II era military aircraft in the world. This Virginia museum also offers a variety of flight experiences, including rides in a restored World War II era bomber plane. The Military Aviation Museum is located in the southern portion of Virginia Beach at the Virginia Beach Airport and was founded in 2001 by Dave Hall and Jerry Yagen. The two men had been collecting vintage aircraft for years and decided to open a museum to share their collection with the public. Today, the museum is one of the largest privately owned collections of military aircraft in the world. A trip to the Military Aviation Museum is perfect for the whole family. At number four, we have Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center. The Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center is one of the largest and most respected aquariums in the United States. Founded in 1986, the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center provides educational opportunities that help guests experience the unique marine environment of Virginia Beach. The facility is home to more than 800,000 gallons of fresh and saltwater displays and over 800 different species of marine life. Visitors can get up close to turtles, sharks, otters, and much more, and there is also an oyster reef, nature trail, a ropes course, and a zipline area to enjoy. The aquarium is located a mile south of the downtown resort area and is a popular tourist destination for families and individuals alike. At number five, we have First Landing State Park. First Landing State Park is located on Cape Henry in North Virginia Beach. The park is the site of the first landing of English settlers in North America on April 26, 1607, as well as the largest protected area of coastal habitat in Virginia. First Landing State Park is a two- 888-acre park that fronts the Chesapeake Bay and features 1.25 miles of beach and more than 19 miles of hiking trails. The hiking trails take visitors through protected salt marsh habitat, freshwater ponds, beach, dunes, forest, tidal marsh, and cypress swamp. First Landing State Park offers a wide range of recreational opportunities, including swimming, fishing, hiking, biking, and picnicking. There are guided kayak ecological tours that allow exploration of the marshes and bays, and the Visitor Center exhibits explain much about this coastal environment. Cabins, campsites, picnic areas, a swimming beach, boat ramps, kayak rentals and tours, and a bicycle trail are also offered at the First Landing State Park. At number six, we have Back Bay National Wildlife Refuge Back Bay. National Wildlife Refuge is a coastal refuge that consists of 9,108 acres of land and water, including the Back Bay Estuary and a portion of the Atlantic Ocean. Back Bay is one of the busiest refuges in the National Wildlife Refuge system, with over 2 million visitors each year. 
The primary mission of Back Bay National Wildlife Refuge is to protect and manage habitat for migrating birds and other wildlife. The refuge provides critical stopover habitat for over 500 species of migrating birds each year. In addition to birds, the refuge is also home to many different types of wildlife, including deer, rabbits, squirrels, foxes, turtles, and snakes. Back Bay National Wildlife Refuge is open to the public for wildlife observation, photography, fishing, and hiking. The refuge has a 12-mile network of trails that wind through different habitats, including maritime forest, fresh and saltwater marshes, dunes, and beaches. The refuge also offers many educational opportunities for visitors of all ages. The visitor center is open daily and offers a variety of exhibits about the wildlife and habitats of Back Bay. The refuge also offers ranger-led programs, including hikes, kayak tours, and junior ranger programs. At number seven, we have Virginia Museum of Contemporary Art. The Virginia Museum of Contemporary Art is a contemporary art museum in Virginia Beach, Virginia, located near the Oceanfront Resort area. One of the best Virginia Beach attractions for art lovers showcases rotating art displays, paintings, sculptures, photography, and digital media projects. Although the museum is mainly geared toward adults, there is a kid-friendly interactive space where children can get a better understanding of the themes displayed in the artwork. Tickets are free, but must be reserved online in advance. At number eight, we have Cape Henry Lighthouse. Cape Henry Lighthouse is a historic landmark that has been a part of the Virginia landscape for centuries. The first old Cape Henry Lighthouse was built in 1792 and was used as a guide for ships entering Chesapeake Bay. In 1881, the new Cape Henry Lighthouse was completed and has been in use ever since. Cape Henry Lighthouse is one of the most recognizable landmarks in Virginia. The lighthouse is open to the public and offers stunning views of the coastline. At number 9, we have Mount Trashmore Park. Mount Trashmore Park is a 130-acre municipal park created in 1974 from two man-made hills of compacted trash covered with soil and grass. It is now a recreational area that includes two lakes, walking trails, playgrounds, and skate parks. Mount Trashmore Park was created as a way to dispose of the growing amount of trash in the city of Virginia Beach. In the early 1970s, the city was dumping about 500 tons of trash per day into landfills. These landfills were quickly reaching capacity, so the city needed to find a new way to dispose of its waste. The city decided to create two man-made hills from the trash, which would then be covered with soil and grass. The first hill was completed in 1974, and the second hill was finished in 1976. Today, Mount Trashmore Park is a popular recreation spot for residents and visitors alike. The park features two lakes, walking trails, playgrounds, and skate parks. At number 10, we have King Neptune's statue on the boardwalk. King Neptune is one of the most popular and well-known statues in Virginia Beach. He was created in 1931 by sculptor Paul Di Pasquale and stands at a towering height of 22 feet. Visitors to the boardwalk can't help but be drawn to his impressive form and curious expressions. Despite his commanding presence, there is actually quite a bit of mystery surrounding King Neptune. For example, it's unclear why he is shown holding a trident and riding on a seahorse. Some believe that the trident represents his power over the ocean, while others believe it may be a reference to the Roman god Neptune. As for the seahorse, some say it symbolizes strength and power, while others believe it represents the many creatures that live in the sea. Whatever the meaning behind his symbols, one thing is for sure. King Neptune is a beloved icon of Virginia Beach. He greets visitors with a friendly smile and serves as a reminder of the city's strong connection to the ocean. So that sums up the top 10 things to do in Virginia Beach. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button.